Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the parts of an insect. So I'm going to write parts of an insect. Okay? I come right down underneath what I just wrote and let's put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line all the way around, up and connect. I come to the left hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. I come down below that and I draw a big curve line down, around, up, and connect. I come right here at this point on the top and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line connect on the right jump over we're going to draw the same thing straight line curve line straight line connect inside i'm going to draw a wavy 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 line connect and another wavy 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 line connect if you can fit another one in there fabulous wavy 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 line on the left wavy wavy line again inside. Okay, now right underneath I'm going to draw one right here at this point, two, and right about here three straight lines on the right. Jump over, we're going to draw one, two, three straight lines on the left. I come back to the right and I draw a flat oval, two, three. I jump over on the left and I draw them again. One, two, three. I come all the way back up on top and on the left hand side I draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come over to the right, straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left and let's draw a baby circle on the left and a baby circle, I'll squish it, on the right. I come back inside and I draw a big curved line, little curved line, little curved line, one dot, two dots. Okay? All right. We are looking down on the insect. It's an aerial view, as if we were flying, and then we see it. Now we're going to label the parts. So I draw a little straight line because I want that line to go to this section. And this is the antenna. So I write A N T E N N A E antenna. Now I jump over because now I'm going to label this section and this is the head. H E A D. I jump over back to the left and I'm going to label because that's what this is called. Let's put this right here. These are the wings. W I N G S wings. Now this section is the thorax. T H O R A X. Thorax. Then I come down to this big bottom part and this is the abdomen. A B D O M E and, and the one thing that always tells you that you have an insect is because they always have six legs. L-E-G-S. So starting at the top we have antenna, the head, wings, thorax, abdomen, and six legs. 
Okay? Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, you just spent all this time drawing and labeling your insect, so you don't want to color it so dark you can't see what you just wrote. So the first thing I'm going to start with my antenna, and I'm going to make those green. I'm going to come down and make my wings yellow, so you can see the whole thing. I'm going to come in and do my feet brown. That's what these little flat ovals are. And then I had to think for a moment, what color could I make my insect so I could still see all the detail? And I chose orange. So very lightly, I'm going to color around my label words, because I don't want to not see them. But I still want to put a little touch of color on my insect. Now if you can color different colors, go for it. But these are the colors that I chose. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my parts of an insect all colored in so that you can be the scientist and label it. Okay, bye-bye.